Hey, what's up everybody? This is Joe from Fandroid. We're wrapping up this month and we've showed off a lot of great games this month. So for this week, I thought I would pick my five favorite. Let's get started. Gotta warn you before this game, it's super addictive. I played it way too long just getting a feel for it before this video. This is called 2048 Bricks. You probably remember 2048, it was a super popular game a couple years ago where you just combine numbers. And this game is basically the same idea, but it's like Tetris. So you move around and you drop the numbers like so. And when you get the numbers on top of each other or next to each other, they combine like that. And that's the main thing that you're doing here because uh, if the numbers get to the top of the screen, just like regular Tetris, the game is over. So you wanna combine them as far as you can and see there, they got uh, three of them combined there. So that was pretty cool. Now I'm up to 128. Let's get this 32 over there. And this game, you know, if you're really good at this game, you can sit here playing one level or one uh, round for a very long time. And that's what makes it addictive because you kind of just lose track of time while you're playing this, uh, like 2048. Um, but the Tetris element makes this really fun. Uh, you get the idea, just play as long as you can. You got your high score going up at the top there. Um, let's see if I can score. My high score is 18,248. See if you guys can beat that. Hoppin' Helm is a 8-bit uh, sort of platform type game. Um, all you can do is you can tap and that's how you move. You just tap one spot at a time. Now you do have this sword and you do have a shield. So I can use the sword there to open that up and get this enemy. There's also like these spots that are like deteriorated. If you land on them, you'll fall through. You gotta get away from these obstacles here. You can collect coins along the way, which you can use to make improvements to your character, get better weapons and stuff like that. So we're just gonna tap one time, at, one block at a time. You can see you have the hearts in the bottom of the screen there to show you how much life you have left. You gotta watch out for these spikes. Whoop, whoop. Can't stay there. Oh, and I just died. Um, so that, it's really fun, like simple game where all you need to do is just go one block at a time. You've got your sword, you've got your shield. See as far as you can get killing enemies and collecting items. This is called Hoppenhelm. Timber West is an arcade uh, style shooting game. Um, so you're this little uh, cowboy here in the bottom and all you're gonna do as you can see is you press and hold to release which is gonna shoot the guy. So basically you hold for when you want the target to stop and where you have your f uh, finger on the bottom of the screen is how you aim. And then at the top of the screen there's this bar and that's basically how much time you have to shoot these guys. Oh, I just missed there. There we go. So if that bar runs out, uh, the guy's gonna shoot you. So now we're moving to the next stage here. You can slide your finger um, like back and forth to adjust your aim, but it's kind of just easier to get the right spot on the bottom of the screen. Oh crap, there we go, there we go, there we go. There's these little like money things that run around every once in a while that you can get, um, but it's hard. Oh, there we go. Oh, ran out of time, that guy got me. So you can see the basic premise of the game is to see how long you can survive shooting all these guys. This is called Timber West. Tall Num is a very interesting game um, about adding numbers and stacking numbers. It's easier to show than to explain. So we're gonna start with a couple numbers here. And what you can do is you've got a couple different things. So you can double tap just to drop the number which is shown above. And then there's some other things you can do. So as it's showing me right now, I can take this six and add it to that, and then it's gonna equal eight, and then that will combine with the eight below it to make 16. So that's one of the things you can do. Let's drop another number here. Another thing you can do is you can slide your finger up or down if you wanna rearrange them. So I can take the top one and put that on the bottom or vice versa. Um, and when you do that, that counts as your move. So then the next block is you're gonna just drop after you do that. So I want the two to be on the top right now because there's a two coming down. So then that's gonna land there and make four. Now I got a four coming down so we can combine those. We got a number four, which is a good one to have there. Two can go on there. Now this eight, let's put the 16 on the top. So we can combine these two eights to make 16. 
Now those are combined to make 32, and you just pretty much go um, as long as you can go. You try not to make this tower too tall, because if it gets too tall, the game's over. So you gotta really think about what you're doing, um, when you wanna add up blocks that are in the tower, when you wanna move them up to the top, take one to the bottom, get the numbers to line up. It's called Tall Num, and it's a pretty fun number game. Elevens is an aptly named game that's all about the number 11. So when you play, you got this timer going across the top, and the goal is to combine numbers that make 11. There's also negative numbers in here that you can use. So if you just drag your finger, it'll start adding them up for you at the top. So there's 11, and those blocks turn blue. If you can get all the blocks on the board to turn blue, you get a bonus. So let's see if we can get some more 11. There's 11. You can also use blocks that are blue already. Um, there's these clocks that show up, so these are like power-ups. If you collect those, you can uh, like slow down time, you can uh, change the numbers, things like that. Let's see if I can find, oh, here's an 11 there. 13, 12, come on. Here's an 11 there. A little bit too much. Time's running out and I'm going, oh wow, that was kind of lucky. I ran out of time, my score was 366. Um, not bad, but it's a really fun game. The time element makes it feel really um, kind of stressful. You gotta hurry up and get as many as you can. Um, but this is called 11s. If you're good at adding numbers, you should play this game.